and the client that we were working with this semester was Cortisone. So uh, Cortisone is a nonprofit organization that started over 30 years ago um, with three volunteers who went down to uh, the border and they saw the life of poverty that many families were living in um, around uh, Tecate and Tijuana. Um, together they really started this company themselves which began as a um, kind of a build a house in a day type thing, which has now grown over the years to an organization that really emphasizes not only giving these uh, people a handout, but really providing them with tools necessary so that they can better not only the lives of their family, but a community as a whole. <coughs> the, our our Cotisone is actually recognized mainly for uh, building a house for these people. They've built like over 30 houses in a day, and they get a lot of donations for um, being able to do that cement, all the tools and all that good stuff. But um, what we really wanted to emphasize is what else they offer to the community and how they help families. Um, so our goals for this semester were to generate awareness about Cortisone, not only just um, their biggest attraction, which is how they provide homes, but all of the programs that they offer, which I already talked about. Um, and we really wanted to emphasize what sets them apart from other nonprofit organizations, such as um, Habitat for Humanity, which also does the same thing as building homes. But Cortisone actually offers much more, and they really concentrate on building the community, not just the physical homes. So, um, so our goal was to clearly communicate that using a fact sheet, and um, we redid the pamphlet or brochure that was given to us. Um, and we really wanted to reach out to a demographic of a younger age. Right now, a lot of their volunteers uh, are about 40 and above, which is fine, but in order to keep this organization going that has been going strong for about for over 30 years, you need to get the newer generations in to really carry on with everything they have built thus far. Um, and our strategies, tactics, and tools that we use were media relations and clearly communicating within our Twitter, Facebook, the pamphlets, and revamping everything so that every people understand what Cortisone is all about and not just um, the building of homes for families. Um, and we used Facebook and Twitter campaigns to kind of reiterate this towards the younger generation. All right, so calendar and budget as far as that's concerned. don't really have a budget. Um, it's an organization and they're nonprofit, so as far as spending money, we didn't really have money to spend, which is usually understandable for nonprofit organizations. Um, and as far as the Twitter and the Facebook are concerned, we mapped out a little bit of Twitter ideas and Facebook ideas for, for them for the future to help progress and continue to try to grow those those two uh, social media platforms. So we tried to we help them try to grow those two aspects, and we feel like. They do need a lot of work still, um, growing them and helping point them in the right direction. So through our, our suggestions and ideas, we hope to gain more followers and, and more likes on our Facebook page as well. And our campaign outcome. So physically, we, we uh, contributed a backgrounder and a fact sheet. And to go along with that, we also edited and updated uh, the pamphlet that the company has. And we increased the likes and the followers on our Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we did not actually meet the, the hard numbers that we originally wanted to meet, but we, we helped them progress and take strides in the right direction. Um, and basically, we feel we started off a little later than, than most of the groups, and if we started off from the beginning, we might have had more time to try to target more people in more areas, but basically we felt that we helped contribute awareness, and at least the start of it, that the company needs to take a little bit more of a direction in getting those younger 
younger talents in there to continue the organization so they can grow as, a, as an organization and they can continue to stand on their feet and do all the, the positive things that they've been doing for so many people, especially the ones uh, stuck with us right now. So those are the outcomes. Uh, methods of evaluation. Uh, pretty much we continue to grow with the, well, with the tips for Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we hope to like, continue growing the social media platforms to get that younger crowd. And also we created a foundation with the fact sheet, the background information, the pamphlet, and the social media tips. So that's just a place to start off. And then hopefully if it does carry on or anything like that, or with future volunteers, uh, proceed, like use these foundations to grow. And the measurement, assessment, and evaluation. Since we didn't really get the likes or the followers we were hoping for, because we did start off such late into the semester, um, we, like I said already, we did create we we did create some like foundation so we could start. Sorry, I got mixed up. <laughs> um, yeah, so contributed to the initial strategy, which is implemented. Um, and to case start for a new following. And um, it's kind of hard to evaluate everything we did because it's just more paperwork um, and it's more basic stuff. Uh, but hopefully uh, through, they could use that in the future to actually measure and assess and evaluate the campaign. And that's it. Okay.